Now, one thing I agree with, something C is that if you want, we could go on Blog TV and you could co host one of my broadcasts and we could try a dialectical approach to you know, this communication thing we're trying to do. We're trying to not just come to terms with each other, but also, let's face it, we're trying to understand the world and reality better with our ideas. It's as you said. You know, you don't like when people just say that you're working on ideas and not operating on reality. Let's work on ideas. We could do it on blog TV. It'd be nice, sufficient. Get to know each other, maybe even go through other concepts and ideas through the dialectical method rather than the typical debate method that happens when two people come in expecting a debate and then come out and it leads to nothing. Kind of like what happened with you and Variablass. So it'd be better if we tried dialectics, the dialectic method of discussion where we present a couple of issues, discuss our stances, really work together to come up with some uh, solution and try it the old school way. I know it would be very interesting for me. If you want the link to my broad blog TV and a good time we can work all of that shit out. You say that with strict definitions or lewd, loose definitions, that there's going to be like context barriers or emotional barriers. Context barriers, which isn't what you say in a word of word, it's like barriers where, yeah, it can be used on any context. So, there's like this barrier between where it you can use it and it makes sense and use it where it doesn't make any sense. Or a strict and definitive definition where there's going to be an emotional barrier where somebody's saying, Wow, that's just too tight. That's unfair. That doesn't correspond with what I have to say. Usually it works with atheism and agnosticism and that little issue. Now I define a leader as being someone that operates under the norms of society or whatever unit he belongs to. I'm just going to say society. And the ruler is someone that operates over that. Why? Because I can deduce it. I can look at leaderships and what have been called leaderships and from what I can tell they operate under the norms and rulerships operate over the norms over the polycentric expectancies that is to say even if they the ruler does participate in keeping in more of the rules and the leader is like this sullen criminal that breaks all the rules the norm is the standard and with the leader he's under that standard with the ruler he tries to go over that standard he tries to hop that little hoop that's what the ruler does the president he hops over that polycentric norm the that's his position the CEO of today he hops over that shit let's see central banks hop over that shit these little banks like the ones in modern times and uh, Freetown Christiania hop under that shit same goes for the money, along with um, the businessmen of Freetown Christiania, which is a surprise considering it's an anarcho-collectivist community, they hop under that shit. And you can say for the positivist 
leaders, they hop under that shit, that standard, that norm, that all must operate on for a society to be polycentric for it to work properly, for it to work in its most economic efficiency, excluding all the different market errors that happen because of our heuristics. Regardless, I like to use this definition because whether it's too strict or too loose, it's deducible. You can try and deduce it. It's a theory and if you can find the rulers that hop under it and leaders that hop over the norm and prove me wrong, then that's too bad. I guess I'll have to you know, come up with another theory. And to me, anarchism trumps anti-statism as a concept because although statism is the root of all other hard rulerships we deal with today, it's not the root of all rulerships. Some mode of rulership had to create statism, whether it's parental abuse as you say it, or Molyneux says it, or even as schizophrenic people under religious cults, as Fringe says it, or even as skeptical heretic or our Ben say it. That is to say, the state were to collapse tomorrow, but these softer rulerships still exist, then we're still in the danger of the state coming the day after. And that's why you, I still gotta use the word anarchist, because you can't just use a context-specific word when we didn't even find the root of it all. The little simplified variable, simplified number. So that's all I gotta say. I hope that you agree to go to Blog TV with me, cause I feel like we could get a lot more done there. I'm thinking of doing a Blog TV this Thursday and or this Friday. Uh, you tell me what time you'll find best, as long as it's above. 7 p.m. or you know around that area I'll be fine